Hi, I'm Sheila Wedekes and welcome to my studio. I'm going to be doing a series of paintings of a lab in water. And today we're going to do the beginning of how I actually start. This morning I picked out a picture of our dog Sammy who's always in the water after a ball. And since we have had over the past 13 years uh, four labs, have two now, this has been their favorite entertainment, so therefore that's what I've been painting the most. To start, what I will do is do a brief outline, and I take just a light blue to get my drawing on for starting, and I pasted it on the board today, the canvas, so that at some time maybe I could stretch it, but I thought this would be best for demonstration purposes. So I start very lightly putting in the beginnings of my lab. And since I do labs all the time, it's almost um, automatic how I do it. the indication of the ball. The fun part comes when we get to the water this week. As you see it's just very rough, roughly put in now suggesting oops, the waves. I hope you can see this okay. I want to thank my friend Lou for helping me with this. She's um, doing the filming and we're trying not to laugh, but we're getting it. What I look for are the shapes and the spaces, negative shapes and spaces. And where my big areas are going to be as far as design. <clears throat> as I start to paint the piece during this week, I get more detailed and correct some of the areas that I might be off on, but to start, it's very rough. Okay. Then what I'll do is I take a paint that's close to what I want and I'm just going to, with turpentine, bring in that color just very roughly. and you get all the drips and the runs. But it's okay. And you can go over the dog just a little bit. For my black labs, <clears throat> I do a mixture of a blue, and I have a new blue, which is Shiva Blue Deep by Richardson, Richardson Oils. I had been using Gamblin, but I got this one instead, and then a Lizard Crimson. And what I'm going to do is just block in that color to indicate the lab. You're probably saying, how do you see this? But I do it so often, I can see 
my, my marks and where I'm going. And as you see, it's just very rough right now. So I wanted these videos to be short and just let you know how I do this. And this will be the first one. And tomorrow we'll go into more depth. So I'll end for now. And thank you for watching.